mechanic should know a uh, video in our series here. And what we're going to do is we're going to diagnose an oil leak. And instead of just throwing parts at something and guessing where it's at, we're going to try to use a couple methods that work really well. The first one, not everybody's going to have, and it's a smoke machine. And what we're going to do is we're going to pressurize the engine case. And once you come over here, and we're going to see that we've had some oil sitting on the bench here for a few days. It's been dripping. We've removed any covers. And when this was all covered up, we had, you know, a real quick guess that we figured the sprocket shaft was probably leaking. But when we, and we could see at some point, a lot of chain lube or something is collected in here. But it's not really soaking wet like it is down here. And we'll try and see if Anthony could get this on the, on the video here. You can see it right there. Okay, so that drip, now kind of back up with the camera, and as we go up here, we could see it's really wet, but, but then it gets dry up here. There's old dirt, but it, it looks to be dry. So now let's come around the other side of the bike here. I'm gonna try and look to see if I see anything that could be running down the chassis this way, deceiving me that a right-hand oil leak is dripping down to the left, and I'm gonna start messing with the wrong parts. This could be a clutch cover gasket. And so if I start throwing seals, pulling stuff off, the reality of it is if I go to run the bike, I'm going to have the same exact oil leak. So method number one, like I said, we're going to go ahead and prove where the leak is. Okay, you can see here, like I said, not everybody's going to have one of these. This is a smoke machine. I'm going to demonstrate how that works real quick here. We need to attach this somewhere on the vehicle through a crankcase vent or anywhere we can get in there because we want to fill it with smoke and then try and see where the smoke's leaking. Okay. We're going to go ahead here and test the machine. So while he has this running, it's good to see this verifies that the machine actually works. But if you look over here, there's actually a gauge where it will measure how much pressure can be built up in there. So now let's look at a place on the vehicle that we can go ahead and hook this up. We're going to go ahead and try that. So Brent, I'll take that one. I'll let you be the trigger. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get her to smoke. And what honestly works better here is to have the lights off. And to have the lights off and then use a flashlight, that smoke will literally almost glow. It, it's not, it's barely leaking. So now we're going to look and try and see if we have smoke coming out. Okay. Oh, there it is. Look, come here. Get that camera in there. The oil's actually pushing out right now. There we go. That drip got bigger and then actually as the pressure built up, it pushed right out. Can I get another flashlight? I think I gave mine up. Got one. Okay, it keeps building pressure and then it loses it. Why does it all of a sudden lose pressure? Because the, it pushes it out. It pushes that drip of oil out, doesn't it? Now that we've done this and we've proven this much, we can go ahead and ruin the evidence, okay? This is where I wiped that off, wasn't it? Yeah. So we're going to see, oh look, at it's, isn't it running down right there now? Is that just the camera, to, that's just the camera deceiving me? Oh, I think I see it bubbling under the nut. Do you see that, Brock? Mm-hmm. Let's try in there. See if we can't get that in. Oh boy, that's good right there. Oh, do you guys see the kind of, the bubbling right there? Yeah. What? Look in that area there. Is there, is there a possibility that's cracked? I see a lot running down from the top too. Where? That down the case. Do you see oh, that? Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, good call. Okay, I copied the clip and sped it up so you could just watch the oil just run right out the back, down and around. What a great shot. I often talk in my videos about how you should calibrate or check equipment. Here you can see we're simply removing the dipstick to prove that it still smokes. Okay, hop in here. You're, we switch gears a little bit. So the smoke would push the oil somewhere out of here, but with this motor mounted in the frame here, we feel like it's behind here and we're still struggling. You know, we just, we just quite aren't confident on, on what's going on. So we've taken a bunch of carb cleaner. I really feel that my problem is somewhere right in here. So what we're gonna do, instead of just trying to get fresh oil out of here, we're going to use an old Suzuki trick 
of using baby powder or some type of spray powder in this area. And what that'll do, as soon as the oil hits it, the powder is going to do what? It'll dampen up. Okay, so we need this really good and dry. So once again, we used a carb cleaner, okay, and then blew it with an air hose. We've dried it off a couple different times. And what we're going to do is we're basically just going to paint this, okay? There's a couple of versions out there where it dries clear. Don't get that because it, it does... It, it, it works okay, but not as good. You see how this actually turns white, almost like a paint? Yeah. So just spray the heck out of it, okay? And then we're gonna let it dry, it's starting to get dry. Another thing you could simply do is just take baby powder. If you end up with some where it's clear and you still can't see it, I don't know, can you guys see? Yeah, you can see how I wiped it away. Yep. So this High V brand's doing a good job, but here's a way to kind of cheat. This makes a mess though, is I'll just go ahead and do that and then just give a quick dusting like that, and that should stick. So now go ahead and turn on the machine. Once again, we're back to using the smoke machine. And what we're hoping to see, look, see it? Crack case. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that. Keep in mind that this test could be used to test any fluid, including gas, to find the exact source of a leak. There, yeah. Okay. You can actually see now that the engine case has a crack in it. Look at that. How beautiful is this test? Let's do a recap here. What we're doing here is we're talking about methods to make us be exact. We are way cooler than doctors. Well, not really, because they save lives. We're really fortunate for the fact that when we want to diagnose something, we do not have to guess, okay? This is a crystal clear diagnosis that will exactly fix this problem. Man. But I don't care, listen to me, I don't care how many seals you put in. I don't care how many gaskets you put in. I don't care how much silicone you put on bolts. The only thing that is gonna fix this oil leak problem is going to be finding where the leak is coming from. And so we talk about that. We think about, you know, customers go, well, it's puddled up around here, so it must be the crankshaft seal. Test it. What I'm trying to get you, every mechanic, to think about is to test your work. Come up with methods where you can prove it instead of just guessing. With the baby powder on there, are you going to be able to find the leak? Yep. Yeah, man, you're going to be able to find the leak. Not guess, not have to pretend like you fixed it, and as it goes out the door, you're praying, boy, I hope I did it. So this is cool stuff.